Hi, first graders. Math time. My favorite. I want you to practice the numbers 7 and 8 today. Here is your number word. S-E-V-E-N. I want you to trace it and write it. And then I want you to trace and write your 7s across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a 7. Is 7 odd or even? Do we say it when we count by twos? If no, it's odd. Don't forget to fill in your number line and color number 7. Color 7 bugs. Draw 7 dots on the 10 frame. And say the numbers in each box and color the 7s. And then 7 with tally marks. Let's see if you remember. 1, 2, 3, 4, across goes 5, 6, 7. So every time you have 5 lines, you do that crisscross. You're going to do the same thing with number 8. I have a rhyme for number 8, too. It goes like this. Make an S. Excuse me. Make an S, but do not wait. Go back up and close the gate. Make an S, but do not wait. Go back up and close the gate. So let's work, do our math work for the day. There were five students in the cafeteria. Some more students came in late. Now there are seven students in the cafeteria. How many students come in late? Write a number bond, write an addition sentence, and a subtraction sentence. Draw a rectangle around the unknown number that you found. So there were five, and some more came in. We don't know how many. And then there were seven. So I could also say seven minus five is how many came in. So in my number bond, I have a seven is the whole. That's how many there were all together. Five were already there. And our missing number is how many came in. So I can just draw a picture to solve this. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make a line and see how many more came in. Five. Six, seven, so I counted on. How many more did I draw? Yeah, two. Five plus two makes seven. Seven minus five makes two. Two students came in. So today we are going to use a number path to help us solve problems. Okay, so these just have your numbers one through 10, and we call that a number path. Some people call it a number line, but it's the same deal. So, six minus four equals, so I'm gonna jump down to four. One, two jumps, I made two jumps. Six minus four is two. And that's the same thing as four plus something equals six. One, Two. Eight minus five equals, let's circle eight, and let's circle five. And I am going to jump from eight to five. One, two, 
three. When you jump, make sure you stop off at each number. Don't skip any. And that was three jumps. One, two, three. Five plus one, two, three equals eight. Nifty, right? Numbers are so cool. Nine minus six. Let's circle nine and circle six. And I need to figure out how many jumps are between them. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine minus six is one, two, three jumps. Six plus nine is one, two, three jumps. So nine minus six and six plus nine really have the same numbers in a different order. Nine minus three, ooh, nine minus three. Ooh, those are far apart. I wonder how many jumps that's gonna be. So let's first go nine minus three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can even count backwards. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, stop at three. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, stop at three. And how many time how many bumps did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six jumps. 9 minus 3 is 6. So then I can also go, okay, 3 plus something gets me to 9. How many jumps got me to 9? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 jumps. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Yeah. So, for these, you're going to use the number path to help you solve. So, I'm going to just, like, make lines between these. Because these are the sets that are the same number. So, you want to do these two together, these two together. These two together, these two together, these two together. And may I make a recommendation to you? Use a different color for each set of problems so you don't get confused. So five minus four, I need five and four. Five minus four is how many jumps? Okay, just one. Four plus how many jumps is five? One. Nifty, huh? So then if I use another color so that I can see what in the world I'm doing. Let me find another color here. Five minus one. So here's five and here's one. See how another color is helpful? Five minus one is how many jumps? One, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, one. How many jumps did I make? One, two, three, four. Four jumps. One plus something is five. How many jumps between one and five? One, two, three, four jumps. See if you can do these ones in other colors. I want to see what you can do. So this one's tricky tricky. You're going to turn, you're going to use the number path to help you solve the subtraction, but then you're also going to turn it into a number sentence. So like five plus something equals seven. Go ahead and do the others and see what you can do. You're smart. I know it. 
you prove it. Bye.